Okay, so here's my three tips for successful flying an ultra micro. So, um, you know, first one, of course, um, weight. So, as you can see, this guy has uh, 44 grams, and um, that's a very tiny little guy, 44. Then I have, uh, let's look at some of my carbon fiber ones. Here's one at uh, 47 grams. And then there's another one. And that one comes in at a whopping 49 grams. That's the heaviest one I have at the moment. So, um, you know, if you want to fly successfully with these guys, once you get to 60 grams without a battery, you've, you've lost it it's too far. It's got to be below 50 grams without a battery. So once you add a battery then you're talking 52 grams uh, on this one, 53 grams with a uh, smaller battery and a 750 battery you're talking just at 60 grams. Um, but um, uh, again, uh, you know, 10 grams heavier on this makes a huge difference. If this was uh, 50 or 60 grams without uh, a battery and um, once you add a battery that would be 70 or 80 grams, it's too heavy. And even on these bigger guys, you know, that's 46 with a big battery, it's 66. Once it gets to, uh, you know, 80, you're done. It, it's no good. It, um, it will not fly good. So, um, then the Second tip is really the props. You'll see that on all of my quads I fly what's known as Walkera props. And they look um, like this. And it's a um, Ladybird uh, QR uh, Ladybird props. These are by far the best propellers. You know, I know the Hubson propellers and all that work. But um, in all my testing these come out top every time um, and that's the Valkyra props so you got to have those for a good flying day maybe not as strong completely as strong as the, the Hubson props but you know I hardly ever even break props you know I have lots of these and I never really use them then um, you know um, Oh, and, and you know, uh, these motors, lots of people will say, hey, you got to get some very strong motors. To be honest, I always just fly with these real cheap, uh, I think it's now $12 delivered by Amazon motors. I don't fly the fancy $30, $40 motors. I fly these cheap motors. And I've always worked 8.5 millimeters from Amazon $12 delivered to my door so um, that's what I fly, I don't have a fancy motor then um, the next step and the last step is really battery so um, then batteries, batteries make a huge difference and especially the weight of them, here I have three different kinds I use this is really a very generic Amazon 380-25C. I don't really like those. Um, then I have, these are my standard ones I fly. It's called Keystone, also from Amazon. Um, delivered to you. Very cheap. Um, I like those. And then I fly the 750 uh, Nanotechs. And those are both 25C. And this one is up to 70C, you'll see. 35 to 70 C and you'll see that in, in the quad's performance but um, you know the trade-off is weight between um, you know these batteries and um, the difference is really let's have a look let's get the scale out there and um, this guy is uh, unbelievable 11 grams for that battery and if you put that guy on there we're now talking about uh, 19-20 grams so there's almost double the 
the battery weight in this guy than in uh, this one, which makes sense. I mean, it's about double the capacity. Um, and uh, but you know that adds uh, immediate 10 grams to your quad. So uh, let's fly those, and I'll show you the flight characteristics between the two. If I can maybe sum it up, these batteries, the smaller ones, um, give me about three minutes flying, but um, it's much more nimble and um, I have much better flight characteristics. This guy, I've got a, I've got a lot of punch out and and oomph, but you know if you do a flip or something and you come down you can feel the weight um, and it also gives me about three minutes of flying this battery so um, you know my preference are the smaller ones and uh, not the bigger ones although I have both um, uh, um, this is a good charger I love this charger it's also from uh, Hobby King and this guy really um, helps you uh, uh, you know keep the charge it's got 500 milliamp uh, ports over here and then the rest are 350 which is perfectly and it works off anything like a USB uh, plug like that or a USB um, uh, um, what do you call that bank or whatever and then also you know here's my little battery tray where I put my batteries in so once they're used I move them, move them to this side so those are just little things that I use that work well for me. So with this setup I can actually fly and charge in the field very quickly without any hassle there. Um, let's go look at the the quad tuning and see how that you know how I have that set up. So as far as uh, tuning goes of course here I have a little quad on there and the basic stuff is just you know reports we all know that and then um, in configuration I typically have, don't have motor stop on uh, um, I like to see them spin and um, spectrum 1024 we all know that these values are pretty pretty standard um, and then uh, you know once I go into fail safe I just uh, you know land or whatever um, it doesn't matter, but here's the main thing I fly on Malta we rewrite and then here's the figures uh, pitch 4.53 and 25 That's what I use and then um, Then I have a TPA of 30% 1500 and a roll rate of 1 1 and 0 0.5. So those are pretty standard and um, uh, They uh, uh, work pretty well for me on on the standard size quad and uh, um, so so it's pretty good and then um, you know um, modes I typically arm on one of them and then I fly on horizon or I can switch horizon off and not fly on it and um, apart from that that's about it um, I don't have much more set uh, you know and ply of course everybody has to um, set uh, the, the specific value for and there you see my values um, but you know everybody's got a you know I have a loop time of 2000 over there which is you know good for this little board um, and then um, you have got uh, min throttle 1150 and max 2000 nothing serious there and then the big one that everybody has to set is this motor PWM rate. I've only got it on 4000. So, uh, you know, with these brush quads, you have to set that. So that's about it. That's the only real uh, stuff that I have set. And, um, you know, that really makes the quad fly uh, more than enough. Uh, um, you know, um, uh, uh, really uh, um, uh, works pretty well. Oh, um, at the receiver, um, I've got a RC rate of 1.4 and a, a RC expo of 0.75. This is also pretty important um, to, to set your RC rate over here. So 1.4 RC rate there. So that's about it. Those are the tips that I have for the little ultra micro quad and flying it. Thank you very much. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got... Uh 
little uh, Amazon battery that claims to be a 25C on there. And let's try and take her up and fly her around the neighborhood. Okay, now let's swap over to the Keystone battery, which is not the name, no name brand, but is a little bit better quality. So let's check that one flying. Let's see the flight characteristics there. 